Hello everyone. I was thinking about something. Someone spoke to me and I did not agree with what that person said. Something came to my mind. In so many words, being quiet may solve much problems. In a sense, keeping your peace, not saying anything. Things can work out. What if someone comes to you with foolishness? Something that makes no sense. Let's say that person is taking their frustration out on you. Let's say that person is just saying things to you that makes no sense. The first thing that may come to your mind, hey, I have to defend myself. So you begin talking, 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 expressing yourself, expressing yourself, expressing yourself. Then you find out it did not do any good or it makes things worse. In some cases, I guess. What if you would have kept your mouth shut in the beginning? If someone is tech is attacking you for no reason, let's say they are doing it to be evil, why say anything back? They are doing it because of something that is not right. Learn to be quiet. Learn to keep your peace. You may believe that you have to yell and cuss and scream to get people to take you seriously. If you believe you have to do that, then you may have to stop going around that person or people. Learn to keep your peace. Be quiet. You don't always have to voice your opinion. You don't always have to voice your feelings. Hush your mouth. Be quiet. Pray to God about it. I believe if you be quiet, in some cases, that problem, in a sense, will work itself out. There are some people out there who say things just to say things. On day one, they may say this. Then on day four, they may say something against what they said on day one. Then on day eight, they say something against what they said on day four and day one. Be quiet. Just be quiet. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? Be quiet and keep your peace. There are some people who are too prideful, too ignorant, too selfish, too into themselves what can you really say to persuade people like that just be quiet i remember someone did something and i was really shocked that person said something i mean i was really shocked that person did it and I started to raise my voice. Even though I was raising my voice, that person was still saying stuff that made no sense. I guess some things that person said made sense, but it was not that person's place. After that incident, I started to think. I should have closed my mouth. I should have like either changed the subject or just let that person speak. Like, I don't think it did me any good to do what I did. I regret it. Me raising my voice, me expressing myself, I could be wrong about this. I don't think it did much good. 
what I probably should have done is told that person something and stayed, you know, in be quiet. Then what I should have done afterward, which I did do, is pray about it. Tell God about it. There is another person. It seems like my words don't really penetrate that person. Since my words don't really penetrate that person, let me keep those words to myself. In a sense, your mother or father or whomever may have told you always express yourselves no matter what. That may make sense in a natural way, but in a spiritual way, that is not really good advice. You may make matters worse truly trying to express the way you feel. You need discernment. You need to know when to speak and when not to speak. You need to know when to say something and when not to say something. You can't say whatever you want to anyone at any time. Whoever told you you can, I don't think they are too wise. I really hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless us.